Hi right, guys and welcome back to episode 7 of my mere multiplayer series. So I've just logged in and I've got some messages. Let's see who these are from. Ian. Wait, you're the YouTuber. Hi Hazani, I subbed. Hello mate. It's good to see you Ian if you're watching. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for sending me a message in game. Um, if anyone else is nearby and is watching and wants to uh, trade or anything like that, send me a message. Whether it's a YouTube comment or in game. I'm more than happy to trade or maybe even form a nation if anyone's interested. Um, other things, we got leadership um, r research. It hasn't appeared here, but it has unlocked taking leadership. So it was exactly like I thought, where they actually changed it. So you have to research the leadership to get this event. So we've already got the, the army. The 25 buildings of large houses, we don't have though, and we only actually have 11 mud. So what I'm going to do is build another mud collector because we're not getting mud fast enough to get leadership at a rate I want to get it. After I've got those large houses, the mud cut is useless in my opinion. I don't really find mud useful for anything really because you can use it for mud bricks, but I usually just buy them off the market and lots of other buildings, you get enough mud either in stock or you just buy it off the market so I can build a second mud builder now where is it? saw miner but I probably will just have it closed down afterwards but we're getting this one and so I'm actually going to get some larger builds so there's two hammers, two wood, two leather and instead of two stone, no, sorry one stone it's two mud so I'm not sure why they changed that maybe it's because they thought it was a little bit unbalanced the dev thought it was a little bit unbalanced but whatever I'm going to I'm happy with the change. So, I'm going to. Yeah, we only we can only get five built, but we need twenty five. Is it twenty five? Yeah, twenty five large houses, but it's only twenty adornments. So the adornments we can get quite easily. So we've already got ten. We just need ten more. We've got this little tribe down here. Eight, but they only have eight. But and I remember seeing another one nearby. Oh, they have sixteen, but they're too strong. We can't take them on. So let's move over here. No, they took them. So our neighbour actually took um took the ones there. So we may have to venture quite far down. Nope, because we do have those ones there, but there's only eight, which means we'd still need to find more. What I could do, because I can't take on those ones here, they're just too strong. Well, I, mm, I maybe could if I assigned many Javelineers, but now with the community work, that would be really, really devastating to the economy for that short term. But I maybe could take them on, but maybe I just take on these guys take their eight and then build a jewelry maker and get these 10 shell six we've got this trading nomads and I've usually been denying them now but that is what I will do okay let's return back to Redwood village so a few things that I'm going to do before I go and just do some basic stuff such as like getting new fields and passes down is I'm just gonna switch these two to hammer production because yeah we're now actually actually now I'm gonna switch more yeah three three because now we actually do need hammers to um, start building those those houses and we spend the 50 on the 10 10 shells so I do want to get some hammers being produced I also now yeah, the jewelry maker wouldn't even have enough hammers for that. But I want to get the jewelry maker up. And with these 10 shells, I'm going to get some adornments produced. I think it's what, about one point, not that, about two shells per adornment. Which means we could get five shells from this. And then I'm going to use our javelin ears to take on to get the eight adornments here. In fact, I can do that now. No, I can't. We don't have enough AP. So I'll get them resting in Redwood. They only have 83. We can take them on. Uh, hammers, shells, adornments, and fish. So, 
we've got the adornment sorted out now we just need time to get those large houses built and um, getting about three mud per tick means it would take probably a day to get all the mud we need to build the houses we've got plenty of leather plenty of wood so it's just waiting for the hammers and the mud but we can get those large houses built we just need 15 more so i'm going to get just more apple fields down get more partially done i'll be reading the comments that you guys have been leaving so thanks for those comments and a lot of you guys have been saying and confirming the fact that the fields have been massively nerfed but also apples aren't as good as a food source as just the only food sources um what i mean by that is for example carrots only can be eaten as a food source whereas the apples can be used for cider as well so apples aren't as good so it's gonna take us a little bit longer to reach our full demand for food so supply our full demand but we'll get there we've actually got 23 apples so we may need actually more farmers but i'll be back once i've got all my apple fields set up and more stuff has happened so i'll see you then Hi right, guys, I'm back a bit earlier than I expected um, and it's because I wanted to play around and just test with the social policy that we obviously started enabled, which is food rationing. Um, I wanted to see roughly where we'd been. I expected we'd lose quite a lot of porcos, but we'd maybe be able to offset that with the jobs. So I've disabled that a lot, a lot better than I thought. Not only are we still growing and are going to get three more porcos, we have much better loyalty because the conflict's been reduced and our jobs are producing so much more like all these farms are maxed out 100 percent they've now got 30 percent usage left all our tool makers are producing way more equipment because all, all the all the jobs have had much more building efficiency due to the debuff being removed so i'm very happy i did that and now in score we entered 19th place so Hit my criteria which is i wanted to be in the top 20. we've already, we've already hit the top 20 in 19th i've planted the field so you can see a lot more apple fields <laughs> we're really running out of space already like it may not seem like it but i can already see that we've just started getting the apple fields down we're not even fulfilling our demand and look how much of the map we've taken up we still need to get cotton fields down which i've got quite a few more and all these cow pastures so, we, God, this update's really made it a lot harder on space. But, once you get those hamlets up, we'll be good. I've got three cow pastures to place, and now I've actually got space there. I can get some, get some down. So, there we go. There's three more. That's all our cows used up. We'll probably produce about 0.4 cows. There, that's an, almost 100%. What I'm going to do now, though, to free up some jobs, is I'm going to re... It's going to take a while, but I'm going to rearrange all these fields... To all these farms we get 100% on each one and we'll probably find we save maybe three to six jobs which I can put into other things such as uh, flint collecting because we're producing a large amount 5.5 hammers now that I've switched around a few of these and 2.4 hoes but we don't have enough flint so we'll get another flint uh, producer and we're also going to need some jobs for the saw miner but even then now producing 2.5 soil so that was really really good we've also got five spare state power so we've got nothing to spend that on yet but it's just nice to know that we have a little bit spare and five also available community work so with that community work available i'm going to set this down to 16 and maybe even to 15 if we if we can all right guys and welcome back to episode seven so it's been a while it's been actually 24 hours since i recorded the first part of this episode and a lot has happened I have actually gone out and taken some adornments, so we can see I've got 18, well, 19 now adornments. And the last two adornments, or in this case the last one, because I've already made one, is being produced by a uh, jewellery maker in the city. So we're very close to getting leadership. We've got the 25 houses, I've built them over, over the 24 hours. The 20 javelins, yeah, I can need to do that when we need them. And the 20 adornments, we could get in the next... 40 minutes so i am going to get that done this episode because i will cut to when we do get that if we do uh soon there has been a bit of a hiccup with the food because last actually not last episode sorry the start of this episode i i turned off um what is it rationing so now i've had to deal with the increased demand for apples but i've got that covered it's about 13 
we produce about 12.4 so we're very close to having that fully covered but I'm going to log into the city now. You can see that oh, the new nerf to food production is very tough. For, thanks for the comment who said this. A 400% increase in the size of fields. So look how much, many apple fields I've got. I've covered half the map, at least. With apple, let it load it in. I've covered half the map um, with apple fields. And we're not even, we haven't even met our demand for apples yet. Um, I've also got some more cow pastures and I've been getting a lot of cotton so you can see now I've got 49 cotton and I'm getting 4.2 per tick so we do have enough to get some good clothes production good I'm not sure how many it is it's two cotton for every one textile but I'm not sure how many textiles are produced per weaver so I think we'll definitely be able to fulfill all these four with the current supply we've got I've also got some butchers going because we just can't produce enough meat. We need 6.4. So 6.4 and with our two butchers we only produce 2.4. So we produce half our meat demand from our butchers. I have also now set up another cattle farm and now I've got one more cattle. Actually no, I'm going to decrease that back down. But I'm going to get the cow. We're running out of space. It's so, oh, it's a big problem. We're running out of space. I'm gonna have to come up here, get the cow there. So we're very close, though. Another thing I've got to actually want to mention is metallurgy. We've got metallurgy ready to research. Uh, we only have 18 miners, 17 actually, and it would take a day. But 80% chance to succeed is pretty high. Uh, and 15 wood and 30 hammers, yeah, that's easy. So, we're very close to getting metallurgy, but metallurgy is all great, but if you don't have copper or whatever, it's pretty useless. So this is why I want these ones here, and I want to get leadership. You can see this guy, Narcissus, he's already pushing down, and I'm very certain he's trying to, to claim these. He's already taken this one here, blocking me off a little bit here. I've got this one below us, this one, but all of this to my west is hopefully up for grabs but I've at least got I've at least got three well, sorry uh, at least got the two over here um, if I really really need to I could go down into the arid but I really really don't want to do that now with the just the need to spend so many sip points on different food types etc um, these are top priority but they're gonna be rest quite quickly this one I want to get leadership and we're so close but actually, no, we'll need to get leadership and then research leadership, I'm pretty sure. To which case, it'll probably be tomorrow that I then have leadership ready. But still, maybe could get something up. So now, I, I barely producing any leather, barely producing enough meat. So cow production, I really need to increase. But yeah, the cotton production, really good. So getting cloves and start actually producing cloves could be a possibility soon but I just don't have the sip points I need to if I want to do that I need to actually get a sip point in cloves I don't have that and I actually want to get another sip point in apples before I before I get anything else uh, we are revoking water and we'll get another sip point in four hours but not as quick as I'd as I'd like but look at the score we are 18th we are heading down and the people ahead, 520, 524, 529, we can easily get into the top 15 with a little bit more work. I told you guys I would do it and I am making it my top goal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get some more apple fields planted. I'm not going to get any more cotton fields planted. I don't need any more cotton fields up just yet, but I'm going to stock up the cotton. Uh, I want to get that done. And then I'm just going to wait till we get the 20 adornments. So, guys, I'll be back then. So, what I think I'm always going to do, guys, is I've already taken a uh, thing out of water. I think I might take another one because the only thing holding you back with water is the amount of wells you can build. But all wells are is simply just eight hammers and five wood. And yes, they do cost one coin. But like I've said many times before, that sieve point is worth a lot more than maybe just 10 coins that you'd save from the wells. Like that sieve point, if I put that into apples, 
I could produce a huge amount more apples, which could feed a lot more people, or I could sell on the market for a lot more profit. So I actually don't think water is very good at all to have sit points. I only wanted to do it at the start when we had such a small amount, and also when I thought whales took one worker, but now they don't. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take all the the sit points out. So another thing is, because, I can't remember what I did, but I got a stock of fish, oh no sorry, when I took over that tribe I got 12 fish, which has really offset a lot of the demand for meat, um, which is really good, but now I'm starting to eat up all that fish, meat is just, oh, 7 meat per tick, so I've had to do a lot of hunting, and there are 100, so I'm going to do more hunting. Uh, thankfully we don't suffer any casualties when we take on these small, small sources of cows. Oh, we actually captured a cow there. Brilliant. That's really good. Okay, so we've got 32 meat, 8 leather, and 1 cow. And we didn't lose... No, we did. We just lost a javelin there. But actually, that was that was good. I'm happy we captured a cow. So, we're going to have to do a little bit of hunting just to sustain ourselves until we got our cow production better. And also, we increase our apple production. Because now that we're starting to eat up all the fish, our apple demand should increase. But... Now we've got those apple fields planted, 13.4 is a good amount to be producing, but 13.4 for using up almost the entire territory. Wow, that's a huge nerf, and we need those hamlets. Okay, guys, so I've put the cows into the second cattle farm. We're now producing 0.4 cows per tick. I'm going to put... Bloody train. Right, I'm going to put another butchers up and running, which will take us down to 0.2 cows per tick. But it just increases our meat production even more, so we can sustain ourselves a little bit easier. Uh, and it also increases our leather, which means leather clothes can be produced more. But ah, oh, this is the thing population really lack at the moment. Like, we're not even we're not even producing leather clothes, and we're barely producing pottery. So I just don't have the well, pottery. I actually don't have the clay um, to do that, and the leather clothes. I do have the leather now. I just don't have the workers, so we need more food. Housing isn't a problem at all. In fact, I can build large houses quite comfortably, um, and I can build plenty of naught houses. But it's the food, so we need leadership to get hamlets up, and then with those hamlets, supply our main city with apples. So. I waited a bit of time and we got it. 20 adornments. So now we have everything we need to get taking leadership. And I'm a bit, I'm not nervous isn't the right word, but I'm, I'm excited to see if anything's changed. Because as far as I remember, what happens is the city revolts. Once a revolt happens and you win, you then get a new tech which you research, which then unlocks leadership. I'm not sure if that's changed, but we'll wait and see. What I need to do, come to community work, I'm going to assign a huge amount, 30%. Because I want to assign a large, large number of javelineers. The reason is, it reduces the amount of revolters you face, because the revolters is half your population and half your militia. So if I remove my militia entirely, remove my militia entirely and recruit a large amount of people it actually not only really obviously makes me more likely to win but it reduces the amount of deaths i face it reduces the amount of deaths i face meaning that once the revolt's over i can get straight back into what i was doing much quicker so that's what i'm going to do 50 percent how many jammers have we got we've got 76 because whenever you dis well unless they've changed things whenever you disband a troop let's say we disband these these guys yeah you get all 15 javelins back so we can recruit let's say 70 javelineers or whatever and then we just disband them afterwards to get the javelins back and we've lost less people that's how i like to do it do it so i'm going to wait for this available community work to come into effect i'm going to disband all the javelineers in the militia because like i said before half of the militia go to actually fight in the revolt and so that means that the enemy is a bit stronger so we're gonna get rid of them and now i'm just gonna massively we need to wait for available community work but 
I'm going to massively reinforce our army. But this never used to be, the community work obviously never used to be a thing, which meant in the gift economy, you could easily hire entire population as soldiers, really. And the only consequence would be you wouldn't have workers. But now you need the community work. Mm. Might complicate things a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You might not be able to get as many soldiers as I want, but still better than nothing. Okay, here we go. Look at that. 66 available community work. So, I'm now going to reinforce, see if we can get any more, because remember, this isn't about trying to win the battle, because with probably about 30 people we could win the battle, it's about reducing the amount of our population that fights in the revolt, meaning once we win the revolt, and we get straight back into the normal game, we haven't lost a substantial amount of our population, so actually I think 90 will be really, really good. We've got the javelins. Obviously, I know we're losing an absolute substantial amount of our workforce and all blah, 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 blah. But this is only literally for 20 minutes once the revolt's taking place. So, things are fine. In fact, I'm going to just keep going. There's no point stopping. 11. There we go. So, before we start, I want to make sure all our troops are in this zone. And we can see, yep, yeah, they're all here. So, that is all our... Po Actually, that's all our population recruited. So, let's see how this works. I've never done that. I've never done it with everybody recruited as soldiers. But let's go. So we've got that. We've got that. Now let's just pay. And that would instantly take us into it. <laughs> well, that was easy. So, we won. Because we recruited every single person, there was no victory. Because, sorry, there was no battle. Because the people who have to revolt, but everybody's in the army. That, wow. I, I didn't think that would happen. I thought, maybe I know the officials would attack us, but no, we've done it guys. So we now have completed the taking leadership mission. And if we have a look, oh, no, it gives us the knowledge. This again is new. Low, this is massively changed. We can now get national armies, settlers, outpost buildings, new production of governance. We get a new chief's hut, dirt roads. Oh, look at all those, put leadership, government salary, protect with people, political bribes. Wow. Huge, huge change to leadership. Wow, guys, I'm... This is fascinating. There's a lot of research I need to do in all of this. I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching. This has been a, a bigger episode. Jam-packed with stuff. We've been the main thing. We've got leadership done. We can now build Hamlets. We can really, really, really improve the Chiefdom of Castell. So, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, but lots of you are subscribing, so thanks a lot for that. I think it is still about 75% of you aren't subscribed, so if you are enjoying them, I'd appreciate it if you did subscribe. But I'll see you guys in episode 8.